Tonight, a local family opens up about their devastating loss in the hopes that it might help others. The Cardiff couple tells us their beloved dog recently died from a heart condition that may have been caused by the animal's diet. News 8's Amanda Shotsky joins us now live from Serrano Valley with a warning from a local veterinary cardiologist. Amanda. Well, hundreds of cases have been reported linking dogs who developed this heart condition to the grain free food that they were eating. Unfortunately, as soon as they show symptoms, it's oftentimes too late. Now we spoke to one local woman whose dog unfortunately died from this. Now she's sharing her story. With his sweet face and little white paws, it wasn't hard for Bob to find a forever family with Giuliana Di Marici. From day one, just the best dog. Little was, did she know um, just four years um, later, she'd be talking about boy. him in the past tense. And then this was his collar when he passed away. We're just trying to process the shock still. Uh, we miss him dearly. Bob died just eight days after being diagnosed with dilated cardiomyopathy, or DCM. His heart was three times its normal size. I just kept saying, you know, I think you have the wrong dog. He's only four and a half years old. You know, he was fine yesterday. An even bigger shock, finding out the possible cause was the dog's grain-free food. I mean, from thinking you're, you're doing the best thing possible for your dog by feeding them this, you know, wonderful grain free diet with with nothing you know bad in it to that's the food that killed your dog. Bob is part of a growing number of dogs across the country being diagnosed with DCM, prompting the FDA to launch an investigation. Out of 500 cases that have been reported, more than 90% of the dogs with heart problems were also on a grain-free diet. You take out grain and you add in other things to compensate for the grain, but maybe those nutrients are inhibiting absorption of certain amino acids and whatnot. Again, we, we don't exactly know. The FDA has now released a list of 16 brands of food that it's looking into. Juliana hopes Bob's story can help prevent other dog owners from losing their best friend. I don't want his death to be in vain. And so if we can save at least just one dog's life from this, then you know I'll be happy. And the good news is, is that the condition can be reversed if it's caught early enough. Now, the FDA has not yet recommended that people stop buying and using this grain free food, but the veterinary cardiologist that we spoke to is recommending that for all of his patients until more concrete information is known as to why this is happening. For more information on the FDA's investigation and the list of brands that are currently under investigation, you, you can go to our website, the CWSanDiego.com. Back to you. All right, Amanda, thank you.